Hey everyone, this is Jason. Just wanted to give you a quick demonstration on our Vision View visualization package from um, Cognex. Uh, Vision View comes in a few different flavors. We have Vision View PC, Vision View CE, and Vision View 900, which is our nine inch panel mount touch screen HMI. So today I'm gonna to be using Vision View PC demo. So this is a piece of software you can use. You can download it for free from Cognex.com and you can use it to test your visualization setup for our Insight smart cameras. So as soon as I open um, Vision View PC demo, the first thing you notice that it says up here in the top left, this is demo only, and it has a clock that started counting down counts down from 45 minutes. So after 45 minutes, it will time out and you have to close Vision View PC demo and restart it. Now you can restart it as many times as you want. You just can't run it uh, in you know full time uh, for multiple hours. It just times out after 45 minutes. Well, real quick, what does Vision View do for you with our Insight Smart Cameras? Well, number one, Vision View is a network deployed a, a visualization package just like our Insight Smart Cameras are. So what do I mean? I'm gonna go look and see what's on my network. I can go look at my uh, sensors or Insight Smart Cameras that are on the network. Well, this piece of Vision View software or our Vision View uh, 900 panel mount screen would also be sitting on the same network. So today I have three smart cameras that are connected to my network and I'm running emulator. So number one, Vision View PC demo is a nice demo piece of software to test your visualization for your Insight smart cameras. But it's also a way to deploy a visualization solution to your plant floor to monitor and control your Insight smart cameras that are available. So how many cameras, or I should say, how many smart cameras can we control and monitor simultaneously with Vision View? Well, that depends. Uh, using Vision View PC, you can monitor and control up to 12 cameras simultaneously. On Vision View 900, our hardware nine inch panel, um, you can uh, monitor and control up to nine cameras simultaneously. Well, what if you have more than nine or 12 cameras? Well, I said I only have four. <clears throat> if you had, this is a huge benefit for using Cognex um, visual, visualization, by the way. If you had a hundred cameras out on the line and you wanted to be able to um, see what's going on with any particular camera, you could go grab any camera, even if you have a hundred cameras out there and you can add those cameras to your Vision View setup network so that you can see them simultaneously at the uh, to for visualization and control. This is a huge delta over our Cognex competition, especially the controller-based uh, competitors who can only see the cameras that are connected to the controller. So like I said, we can uh, today we could display up to 12 with Vision View PC demo, but if I wanted to go see another set of 12 or just another camera that is on my plant floor network. I can do that from a single location. Another option that we have with Vision View is, well, what if I have two sides of a machine or four sides of a machine or multiple points for visualization? That is no problem with Vision View. I can have up to five views per smart camera. So I could have five Vision Views all looking at the same camera. Now I say five, it's really designed for four. And the fifth one is your programming software, your Insight Explorer software. So you could do five, it's really designed for four, four visualization connections and one programming connection. Today, of course, we're gonna use one visualization connection and three smart cameras and our emulator. So all I did was, the sensors were detected. I simply moved them over to the ones I want to view. And all I have to do is hit OK. So I've got the four cameras that I want to look at. And I come over here and I want to 
to hit the run button. So I want to see what's going on. So quickly and automatically, we get this nice tiled view. So I've got uh, three smart cameras. Our emulator is connected and I can see all four of them at the same time. You can see the first one that's connected. I've got our part here with a uh, couple of Pat Max patterns on there with a little 15 degree of rotation and it's reading a couple uh, lines of human readable text. I have a uh, just a uh, screwdriver here reading Pat Max with a, uh, a, um, a score is um, being plotted to the screen and uh, tied to the pattern location. We have a little demo showing power grid uh, reading some barcodes. And here on our emulator, I have a poker chip demo. Now, emulator works a little differently in Vision View. I have Insight Explorer software open, and it's still offline, but I'm just running the images through FilmStrip, a great way to test Vision View. So now that I have four images connected, what do I do if I want to make changes to it? Well, you could grab any one of these images. I'm just going to start here. And if I was to select this image, I get a nice view, a large view of this smart camera. If I wanted to switch view, I can show that, hey, I don't want graphics. I do want graphics. If I want to go back to multiple all uh, smart cameras, I just click on all sensors. I can go to my power grid demo, click on this one, full view. And now when I hit switch view, I have a lot of exposed control points for making adjustments to the smart camera in the field. Switch view and I get both the image with graphics and all the controls that I want to make adjustments to. If you've given them control, they can make adjustments to settings on the camera. Some of these settings do require that you go offline. If you've given the operator uh, control to go offline and they know the password, have the right credentials to go offline, they can go offline and they can make adjustments uh, to the camera in online or offline mode. Uh, switch view back to graphics only. Look at all sensors. And now you can see that we have a nice tiled view, easy to use, network drop, just like our smart cameras, to see any smart camera that's on the network. Choose which ones you want to display and put them in a nice, easy to use, plug and play visualization package. For your customers. Great, great, easy to use uh, vision view solution. Now I want to take a couple more minutes. If you got a little more time, take a look at what else you can do with vision view. We do have some more options down here. Let's just click on options for this camera. We can go in and easily change jobs. We can save it. We can delete it, get it off of the smart camera so that they don't run the, the wrong job, if that's whatever, whatever the case is. Let's put this guy back online. I have a few more settings I want to show you in uh, Vision View. So let's go back to our uh, nice view here. We've got all four tiled views. And then I'm going to hit uh, Options again. But instead of going directly to Options for one camera, I'm going to go back into Vision View Setup. In our Vision View Setup, we have more control. We can change language if we need a different language setting. We can adjust our screen layout. And in our screen layout, we have control over what the operator sees or what control we give them. Like uh, earlier, I showed that we could go online, offline. You can simply uncheck that. If we don't want them changing the view, simply uncheck it. If we want to save images, we can save images to uh, different locations, like a, like a USB that's plugged into your Vision View 900. Um, job control options on uh, what job to run, what control you want to give the operator, uh, if you want to adjust the image, whether they can uh, focus, pan, zoom, rotate, autofocus, change the way the image looks, uh, adjustments for film strip, all built in to um, vision view. Uh, the icons, you can see I've got them as check and X. You can go back to just the standard icons if you want. We'll leave it there so you can see what the changes are. And then also the layout. So it's defaulted to the two the two by two layout for four cameras. You could tell it in rows and columns. Well, why would you want rows and columns? Maybe you're more maybe you're 
uh, have a windowed image that only shows a few rows. It might look better in a row setup. Columns, if you have a lot of um, uh, controls exposed uh, via easy view for the uh, operator to make changes on the plant floor. Easy to make changes in vision view. Uh, look under our settings. You can make adjustments for security settings, uh, different settings for the sensor, display settings. This is a nice one to look at. Uh, this is a, isn't available in vision view, but this is in normal mode. Well, what does that mean? It just means I have this windows bar. I could close the window. I could make it go full screen or be a fixed window if you wanted to um, have it as a fixed size on your PC screen or your CE screen. Gives you control on how you want to embed it. Under our image settings, this is a really nice feature. If you're using a 12 megapixel camera, uh, yeah, you might need 12 megapixel for the vision tools to find the detail, but do you really need a 12 megapixel image on your visualization package? Well, maybe not. Well, you can come in and you can just easily adjust um, whether you want a high resolution image or a low resolution image. If you look right here, the quality is the image that, that you want to display. You could say high quality. Well, that also means low speed. Or you can do low quality, which means high speed. So it's just a way to um, make your H, your visualization not have to carry that large, a high resolution image on your display screen. Nice control. Um, make some network settings. If you needed to go and see what your network settings are, if you need to make changes to it, or how to control your to, uh, your subnet if you needed to ask add one of those. Uh, one last thing to show is if you want to back up your smart cameras or restore them from a USB that's on your network, easy functionality built right into Vision View. So if you have a Vision View 900 and it holds all of the backups and one of your smart cameras goes down, you get a new camera, go put it on the line, restore from a USB, and you're up and running instantly. So very, very good features of Vision View, just showing that there's more power to Vision View than just a visualization interface. Just in summary, just to close it out here, remember using Vision View uh, PC demo today, I could have up to 12 cameras displayed for visualization and control simultaneously. So I can see what's going on with all of my cameras on the, uh, or 12 of my cameras on the plant floor. But remember, Vision View is just another network drop, just like your Insight smart cameras. So if you have a hundred Insight smart cameras on your plant floor, you could use Vision View to go and see any of those cameras that are reachable over the network from Vision View. Also, if you for any individual Insight camera, you can have up to five views or five visualization instances per camera. So if you have two sides of a line, if you have uh, multiple operators, they can all have vision view looking at a single camera up to five. All right, that's all I have for today. Thank you. Let me know if you have any questions on Cognex Vision View. Thank you.